Overpressure injury or barrel trauma is mainly a problem to novice divers. Diving physician Catherine de Meijer tells us how you can recognize, treat and especially prevent them. Hi Catherine. Hi Kevin. Welcome back to our studio. Last time we talked about the compression accidents. Uh, today's topic is, and I have a look, barrel traumata. Uh, but what is that exactly? Well, in barrel trauma you can recognize two words. Yeah? Barrel. Um, which is pressure, mm -hmm. Greek word for pressure, and trauma, accident or damage. So mm -hmm. barotraumata are accidents caused by pressure and most of the cases over pressure. Yep. And so it can happen in every organ uh, that is filled with air. And a crucial law, physic law, in, uh, the, uh, in the barotraumata is uh, the law of Baal, Baal and Mariotte, which mm -hmm. states that at a constant temperature, the multiplica multiplication of pressure and volume is a constant. So it means that if you have a bottle filled with air, mm -hmm. a 10 liter bottle, and you go down to 10 meters, the pressure, the hydrostatic pressure will go up, it will mm -hmm. multiply by two. Um, so the volume of the, of the bottle will um, be, 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 will be, we will get lower and will be uh, divided by two. Yep. So uh, the, pro the multiplication has to be a constant. And so that's yep. the, the, the physics law that... Uh, and what, what, what can that cause in well, our body? Well, if we take as example um, the ears, uh, the mm -hmm. middle ear, the ear is composed by three parts. So the outer ear, then you have the eardrum, you have the middle ear and you have the inner, inner ear, where yep. the equilibrium uh, organ and the uh, hearing organ is uh, localized. But so this middle ear with the eardrum is um, filled with air. And so um, if you have a pressure difference, mm -hmm. um, then that can cause um, yeah, a, a problem with the eardrum, a tear in the eardrum, and that's not good. So if you go down, if you start your dive, you really always have to equilibrate and yep. what is that well if you go down the hydrostatic pressure will rise so you mm -hmm. will have um, higher pressure outside uh, the middle ear yep. and then uh, you will breathe the air and um, but the, the, the pressure in the middle ear is the same as the one at uh, sea level yep. if you haven't equilibrated so you have to pull open this uh, tube of uh, this is eustachian tube it's a yeah. connection between the throat and the middle ear so if you pull it open you will allow pressure to equilibrate between the middle ear and the throat so that's very important if you start to dive even after the first meter equilibrate the ears because if you don't do it the the eardrum will tear. Does the pain you will start feeling yeah. when going down? And it, yeah. it, it can happen up two, three, four meters. So it's really a pity if it happens to you. But it's not only the ears. No, the ears are, are important, but um, you also have the, the mask, the diving mm -hmm. mask uh, that you put on. It's filled with air. Um, and if you would start your dive and you wouldn't equilibrate by mm -hmm. um, exhaling in the, yeah. in the, in the, in the mask, um, then you will get an uh, overpressure outside the mask, under pressure inside the mask. And of course, the glass of the mask will not, um, will not change its shape. So it can yeah. really cause um, problems in the tissue around the eyes. Yeah. Um, so the, 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 you get really get this uh, red... Um, uh, form around yeah. the, the ice, which is not uh, not nice to see, uh, yeah. but it's not well, it's not uh, it's rather harmless. But other problems can be caused by in the lungs. If you, for example, finish your dive and get up up too too fast, um, you're inhaling air. But if you get up, the outside pressure and the hydrostatic pressure will get uh, down. Yeah. Boyle and Marriott says, well, multiplication of pressure and volume is a constant. So pressure gets down, but the volume of the alveoli, which are small sacs filled with air in the lungs, yeah. they really get, will expand. And so you have to allow uh, this air, this expanded air, to get out of the, of the, of the body. If you don't do that, if you um, get up too, too fast, or mm -hmm. if you uh, wouldn't exhale during going up, yeah. then uh, you really have uh, bad, uh, bad damages of the lungs, lungs, which are really crucial organs. So if yeah, they're we damaged, kind of need them. <laughs> yeah, you really, you really have a big problem. But what happens, of course, most of these issues can, can be prevented by mm -hmm. doing the things you need to do, mm -hmm. or if you start feeling pain to stop the dive, go back uh, safely. Mm -hmm. um, but what happens if you do have a long accident or something mm -hmm. like that? What's the next step then? Well, as you, as you, you mentioned, prevention is really very important. And especially for the, the, the young diver, the, the, the diver who doesn't have a lot of dives in his, uh, in his book, yeah. um, those divers are really very susceptible for um, barotraumata because most of barotraumas, they happen in the, 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 
Zero, minus 10 to sea level um, mm -hmm. range. Yeah. Um, so that's the range where these where the beginners are. Yeah. Be <laughs> beginners are. So really prevention is important. So equilibration of the ears, equilibration of the mask really has to become a reflex. But if you have this, uh, this barotrauma of, for example, the lungs, well, uh, most of the time it's pretty obvious that there's something wrong because people can't breathe um, yep. normally they really breathe like will like hyperventilate mm -hmm. blood will come out of the of the of the mouth because alveoli are uh, damaged so uh, you have really have to get to the hospital and you have to call uh, uh, 112 or 911 because it's it's really it's uh, it's very uh, yeah can be can get very bad okay Catherine thank you for explaining the risk and see you next time bye are you at home thank you for watching our show I hope to see you next week